Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, I will be talking about the Java user defined method. Basically, these are block of codes which will run when called. So you have to call this user defined method and it will execute all the codes inside that method. But before I continue, please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so basically this user-defined methods or method in Java, these are block of codes. Okay, wherein you put some codes or statements inside that method and when you need that method you just call that method and it will execute all those statements inside the methods basically they are also called functions in other programming language they are called functions like in python programming they are called functions okay these methods may or may not have parameters. I will discuss further what is a parameter later on. And so the purpose of using a method is to define once and use it many times because you can reuse the code, right? So every time you need that method, you just have to call it. You don't need to recode or you don't need to write a code again with the same functionality. Or with the same statements so basically that is a method now in this tutorial video I will be discussing only a method that has parameter but doesn't return a value or a method without parameters and doesn't return a value so I will be talking only about method that doesn't return a value and that is what we call the void method on the next video, I will be discussing method that can return a value so that this video will not be that long. So let's go and have our program now. So how do we create or how do we define a Java method, right? So because we're not going to have an object, all right, we will not be having a class, all right, because remember, Java is a object or is an object oriented programming language so we will not be having an object define a Java method you just have to define them or those here before the public static void main in fact this is what we call a method also right this public static void main is, this is the main method or the main program right so if you would like to define your own method you can just place those before this public static void main right so we can have it here so to define it you just have to say static let's say void okay because it doesn't return anything so you will use void because we will create a method that doesn't return anything all right when we call it the method it will not return anything so something like that so and then the name of the method so let's call it as let's say display display course open and close there you go so it's something like that all right so for example when i call this method when i call this method it will just simply display the course let's say java programming and then we will just print the course code for example that is uh, j001 so it's like this so we have now a method that doesn't return anything again why do we know that it doesn't return anything because we are using this void here all right so it's going to be like that now again this method is just for the java main class no? So this because we have another method that is for Java class, okay? Methods that are inside a Java class. So here, although we are inside the class, but we are having here the Java main class. So 
So we just have to define something like this. All right. So how do we call it? Let's say I want to call this one now. I want to use this one now, this method. So all I need to do is to call the name. So something like this. All right. And so once we run, let's try to run it. I'm going to click OK here. And there you go. It display Java programming in JP001 because that is the purpose of the display course. So when we call the display course, what will happen is it will go here in line number five and then it will execute this and then it will execute this. And then finally in line number eight. And after that, because no more code after line eight, actually this is the end of the Java method. And so it will return back here. It will return back here and execute the next statement, which is in line 12. But unfortunately, we don't have any more code. And so that's the end of the call for the display course method. As simple as that. That is how uh, we define a method in Java. All right. So Java methods or method. All right. So that's how it is. And so if I would like to display it again, I, I want to call it again or I simply want to display again or print again Java programming and JP001. So I just have to call the method. So I'm going to run again. And there you go. So twice it was called and twice it executed all the statements here inside the Java method. So these are what we call the black of statements or black of code. Okay, now of course you can always put anything here inside. You can even, let's say, introduce a variable, let's say is equal to 10. Okay, you can even use loop statements here. You can even use conditional statements inside. You may use for, or you may use while, or you may use uh, do while, depending on the requirement or problem that you would like to solve. All right, so anything goes here inside. All right. So let's say for instance here, I would like to print the X. Simple as this. There you go. All right. So this is the nice thing about the Java uh, methods because you can uh, create a simple module or a short module that you can divide. No? I mean, you can divide your program into many modules or what we call methods. All right. So that's one purpose of the Java method. Another another type of Java method here is that this one doesn't have a parameter. All right. So this one doesn't have a parameter and it doesn't return any value. I can also create a method that can have a parameter or will have a parameter. So let's say static void display uh, let's say um, I'm going to say compute uh, grades, right? So something like that. There you go. And then, if you would like to have a parameter, you can define those parameter or you can list those parameter here or parameters here. Okay. So what are parameters? These are values that you can send something like that you can send to the method and the method will process those values so something like that no so for instance here i'm going to say here let's say int let's say coursework int let's say midterm exam grade then int final exam grade so something like that so the data or the variable that you will emphasize here or you will place here should be declared. So let's say here, int CW, int ME, int FE. So you just have to define them. You just have to list them here, but you have to define their data type. And if it is more than one, you have more than one, you have to separate them by comma. This means that every time we call compute grades, we should supply three data for the CW, for the ME, and for the FE. When are we going to do that? We will do that when we call the function. So these are what we call 
parameters. Okay, so something like that. So when we call this time, it is able to process three data. So for instance, I will say here, let's say int, let's say total. Alright, so let's say I'm going to say here CW plus ME plus FT. And then I'm just going to say system dot out dot print line. And then I'm going to say total like that. So whenever I call compute grades now, I should supply three arguments. So compute grades. So I should supply three arguments. So the actual data that you will provide here will be called arguments. All right. So let's say for the CW, let's say it is 15 or let's say 30, then 15 and then let's say 40. Right? So, the rule is very simple. If you have three here as arguments, you must have three defined variables here. So, or you have to define three variables there. Or basically, if you have three here, you must also have three here. So, meaning to say, CW will take 30, ME will take 15, and FE will take 40. And so, the, the value of CW is 30, 15, and 40. As simple as that. And so when it goes inside the method, the value of CW is 30, 15, and 40. Okay, so it's going to be like that. So in this case, it will just add the 3 and it will just be printed. So when we run now, there you go. It printed this 85 here. Alright, so it's something like that. Because we call this one twice, so it will print twice. All right. And then including the 10, and then also here, including the 10. And compute grades, it will go here along with three data CW, ME, FE. And then it will add those, and then it will print. And so that's how it is. All right. So that's the only difference between the, these two. Both of them doesn't have return value because this is void. So when you see void in Java, that means for for method, it means it will not return anything. It will just do something it, like, for example, here, it will just do the code of block of code. Like, like, for example, this one. And then after doing all this block of codes, it will just return where it was called and continue the next statement. Right, where it continue or where it will continue, you know. So it's going to be like that. So another one is that it has parameter, okay. And you have to call this method with parameters. You have to supply arguments, okay. As simple as that. So on my next video, I will be this. I will discuss the method. This time, it will have parameters, and it will have a return value or without parameters but it can still return a value all right so please do wait for that watch for that so in the meantime i hope you were able to understand or you are able to gain uh, another uh, topic about java methods i hope you have learned about java methods and uh, thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one